Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Time Splitters with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, well, we started off the Let's Play. We did the first mission of the story mode, which was Tomb, set in 1935, with good old Captain Ash. And we did it uh, on normal difficulty with a time of 10 minutes 37.7 seconds. Next up, it is Chinese, set in 1970, with a level we all might recognise because it's been in all the games, and we're going to do it on normal mode. Let's go. Now, who are we going to pick? We have the one, the only, Detective Harry Tipper, or Lieutenant Christine Malone. Let's have a look at hers first. Oh man, she's out of there. But I'm sorry, Christine. It's got to be, once again, just like with Captain Ash, we've got to go with the, the, with the, the mascots of the game, the favourites we all know and love. Harry Tipper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, sounding a bit like Duffman there. Alright, let's start the game. And here we are in the level Chinese and oh man, we just got the pistol and the Uzi straight away. Good stuff. So here we are in a little tunnel bit, this is where we need to get back to with the item. Let's go with the Uzi, why not? And get started. Take that. Uh, so like I mentioned, yeah, this this map you may recognise because it was actually in all three games. It was in Time Splitters 1, I guess just Time Splitters, Time Splitters 2, and Time Splitters Future Perfect. I think in 2 and Future Perfect it was just an arcade map. But in this one it's part of the story. So you may recognise it, and man, I am doing really badly. <laughs> I need to be a bit more careful. Take that. Are they all dead? I think they're all dead. Good. And if I said last episode that uh, Captain Ash was the only character in all three games, I was massively wrong. If I did say that, I can't remember now. But uh, I, how could I forget the one, the only Harry Tipper? Agent Harry Tipper. He's been in all three games as... as well. That's weird. I think there's someone behind there trying to shoot me. Definitely no one there. No. That's a bit odd. I guess it's a little bit, a little bit of a bug, that or something. They're not supposed to see me. Or maybe they're trying to be cool like an action hero and shoot through the door. Don't work like that, buddy. Afraid not. Okay, let's carry on. <laughs> um, so yeah, all this stuff is pretty much exactly... It's been exactly the same in all all of the games. Maybe slight variations. I think there's a tunnel somewhere in uh, the Future Perfect version. And maybe it's a different colour in Time Splitters 2. Oh, I need that health. But um, for the most part... Pretty much, pretty much the same, which is which is nice, nice bit of consistency. It's been like that for a couple maps actually. Um, like the Mexican one, I think has been in two and three, and Training Ground as well, I think has been in two and three. But uh, yeah, I'm just I don't know why I'm doing this for. <laughs> just want to destroy stuff. Um, I just picked up the shotgun, and this is where this level gets really fun for me because I love the shotgun. I love shotguns in most games because generally they're they're quite easy to use, and you don't have to aim very much. Uh, the only downside is usually the range of them is not very good, right? You can only shoot not very far in front of you. This game, not so much. Not so much. This game has ridiculous shotgun. Watch this. Dead. Did I miss? I think I missed that. But Oh, hey! It's just... Look at this. It's so stupid. It goes across the map, pretty much. It goes across the map. I love this shotgun. One of the best shotguns I've played in a video game. Um, shame it's kind of <laughs> this lovely, tranquil scene of the nice uh, Chinese lanterns and pond and things. Here's the backdrop for lots of shooting and death. Oh well, can't win them all. Take that. So I'm just going to sort of. Oi, don't throw grenades at me. Do a little bit of. Okay, that one didn't work. Take that. Sure, I'm going to blow up your crate because they're explosive for some reason right next to you. Haha. <laughs> Anything in the dumpster? I do not think so. Um, this level does actually change a little bit depending on the difficulty. I'm playing it on normal, but if you play it on easy, I believe that it all depends on the number of doors which you can open as shortcuts to the way back to the beginning of the level. Um, on easy, I think there's a door really close to the the end. Um, normal, one slightly further away. 
and on hard there are no door shortcuts you can use. Are you still behind there? You're dead. I'm nearly dead. Can we pick up some health from somewhere? Nope, just more shotgun ammo, which I'm not complaining about. So it may be this one we can open, I think, from the inside on this difficulty. And I, I'm, I'm guessing here, I don't actually know, I should have probably checked this before. But I think maybe, is there another door? Maybe it's that door that we that was sort of glitching out. Maybe that's a door we can open on easy, that one down there. That would make sense because that's right near the entrance or the start of the level. We shall see, we shall see. Let's get in there and start shooting some more bad guys. Uh, and also, punch some gongs. I'll show you. <laughs> they put this in as... I guess it's kind of like a little easter egg. But, uh... There you go. Oh man, I should pay attention and not be punching gongs. Hang on, there's a guy up there, I think. I see you. Hey that. And I bet there's a guy here as well. There is. Right, really do need some health now. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna do this one more time. Oh no, he's almost... Ah! The gong. Do not let the gong distract you guys. Honestly, it's deadly. Okay, that's those two guys taken care of. Let's not get distracted by the gong this time. That was a bit foolish of me. I guess it's uh, I was kind of a bit spray and pray -y that time. Um, I'm a little bit better in terms of health now, so that's good. Right, let's head up here and not get caught by these guys again. Where are you? There you are. Take that. Alright, now I believe that is the right way to go on this side, that's the correct way to get to the item. We're going to go this way instead, just to go pick up some more health, and take a look at the level. So, get rid of these guys. Honestly, I think the trick to this game, and it probably it's probably why it, it was designed like this, the way it is, is that really, it's kind of based on memory, especially, especially the later levels in the game are all about kind of trial and error and memorizing that you know to know that there was someone around that corner especially if you're going to play on hard because if I got shot in on hard who knows that could have taken me down to nearly dead um, one level in particular that I just oh I hate so much is mansion which we'll see later on and it's precise you, you have to learn that level at the back of your hand oh wait did I go the oh I think I actually went the right way whoops I was meant to go the other way sorry I got that mixed up this way is the way to go, just to uh, just to go get some body armor, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, like that. Good. So we got some body armor now. We did take a bit, of, <laughs> quite a bit of damage getting the body armor, but still, never mind. Hello there. Oh, blimey. And just knowing when people are going to run in like that, because it's all scripted. You know exactly when it's going to happen. I just have bad memory. So there is some health there. I'm wondering whether I should, should I leave it and you know, for when I come back? Let's leave it for now, because I don't think we're going to get kind of the benefit of it right now. Uh, we'll, we'll, we might need it later anyway, so we'll come back to that. So if we go through here, I sh actually there should be some more in here. No, I just used that. Along with some blood. Eww, why is there blood in the toilet? Do I want to know? Probably not. In this game, I think, this game, this part of the level, I think I want to lure them out. Which means doing something like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, this is much better, because now the auto aim just does my job for me. That guy, however, needs to die. Please say he's dead. He's still not dead. Are you joking me? Come on. There we go. This room's quite big. There's going to be tons of them all hidden back here. This is actually a setting for um, one of the challenges, I think. It's definitely one of the challenges in Time Splitters 2, maybe 3? I think... It Maybe three, we have to smash all the plates and stuff. These guys I don't think are going to come out, actually. So I need to do a bit of this action. Okay, he's dead. And this action. Oh, he's not dead. Oh. Now he's dead, okay. Good. I think that's everyone. Whoa. No, it's not. See, they're just hiding everywhere. I was checking if I could open that door, which I can't. But what I can do, hello there, is punch those of plates, I'm guessing. Or oh, we can dual wield as well. Oh, we, can, we, can, we can shoot them as well. This sort of thing. 
actually quite interesting to see how they break. <laughs> actually it's not, what am I talking about? That's not interesting at all, let's just get on with this level. Is it this door then? Whoops. No, I can't, hmm, I'm sure one of these doors opens, but I'm, I can't. That one seems like it's the one right at the beginning of the level, so I don't think that's it. I would have thought it would have been this one. Hmm, maybe it's only when um, you get the item. Let's go get the item first, and then we'll try that. Whilst trying not to be killed by all the time splitters. That will inevitably spawn. So we're going to go down to the basement. Hang on, check our corners. Good. Alright. Good, lovely. That's some good shooting there. And I believe we're quite near the end of the level now, actually. I think the item is just in this room where the boss is going to be. When I say boss, it's just... He looks slightly different, but... <laughs> he's exactly the same in terms of health and things. There he was. I think that's Mr. Big, he's known as. Alright, let's try that door thing. I'm, I'm quite curious. I'm going to grab the item, and we're going to run. We got it. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. We're getting killed. Getting killed. Up here. Does this door now open? Oh, it does! There you go, so you have to get the item, and then we can just escape, like so. That's a, that's a nice little shortcut there. Why are they not even spawning? Huh, did we sort of outrun the time spitters spawning? That's pretty cool. That's very cool, alright, nice. Well, we did it, there we go. We're back at the beginning of the level, and we're done with a with a best time of 7 minutes, 57.6. Let's have a look. 48 kills without dying. Most kills within 3 seconds. 3. Longest kill is 3. 9. Accuracy. Mm. Headshots. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Okay, so we unlocked a new arcade level by doing that. And also a new playable character. I have no idea which ones. But very good. Let me quickly save. And there we go, so the next level is going to be in 2005, only, well, only 11 years ago now, Cyberden, which is a sci-fi themed level, and we'll do that next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!